the Apache being mechanical two-wheel drive, at first I had my doubts whether or not I really needed a four-wheel drive or a two would, would be sufficient. But after running this, I've never been stuck on a sprayer. And it seems to go through the rice and after you water beans down the row, the low end of the field hasn't been a problem. The transmission doesn't heat up. Uh, it, it tends to handle the soft conditions very well. When you're running hydraulic motors, you're using horsepower. And uh, when, when you get in a tight spot with, with an Apache, the torque converter kicks in and it goes on. And uh, you're not toting around four extra hydraulic motors, a pump that's huge, and a bunch of hot oil. Hydraulic goes to the, le goes to the point of least resistance, and when you get stuck, all the fluid's gonna go to the point of least resistance, and it's gonna cause it to spin out. I was never really sold on the old hydrostatic drives like everybody else has, and that was one of the things that got me most excited about the Apache, is that it does have a, a power shift mechanical drive system. There's a torque converter that locks in at a certain RPM range, and when it does, it's, it's basically like, kind of like finding another gear. And uh, when that torque converter kicks in, it just has a way of putting its power to the ground. It's amazing. And uh, you ask that machine to spray and run that pump and run the speed and carry that weight, and it does it all tirelessly. This one is just, it powers through everything that I need, up all the hills, through the mud, down the road. Definitely the, the Cummins engine is, is, is outstanding. I really like it. We got into some places that we normally uh, wouldn't go until it was drier, but due to just time sensitivity, it had to be done. And uh, time and time again, the Apache does, to be a two-wheel drive machine, uh, it does really well as far as traction and, and standing up in wet ground. People that say you need four-wheel drive, it doesn't matter. You get stuck in a in a two-wheel drive sprayer, you shouldn't be in there in the first place. As far as power, it has all the power I've ever needed. I've never, never needed, you know, wanted for more. The biggest thing I like is uh, the power ratio and how it's getting around and the efficiency of it. The important thing anymore to me is, yeah, I want to be able to get up the hill decent and get the job done, but also to keep your spray pattern on. I think it's going to do very well. I think they'll run with anybody's machine. If I hadn't thought that, I wouldn't have bought it, you know. <laughs>